Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and I am here with lecture Monday. Do you know about soil? Yes, of course you do. But do you know it's derived from Latin word solum? That means floor. Yeah, this some of you might be knowing and some not. Now, what is the soil? Whatever we see on the topmost layer, is it the soil or there is something inside or the same pattern what we see on the top layer is repeated in the following layers or there are different types of layers. So, let's know about the soil profile. What do you mean by soil profile? Now, it is the vertical section of the soil through all its horizon and extending into the parent material. Now, what is horizon? The individual layers are regarded as horizon. Each layer has its identity. So, there are four, five, but basically four different horizon, O, A, B and C horizon. Including E, O, A, E, B and C, they are known as master horizon. Starting with horizon O. From the word O, we can connect that it must be containing organic matter. So yes, it is also known as organic horizon above mineral soil. Now where we can find this? It is generally found in forest areas. And this O horizon is visible in virgin soil and is absent in arable soils. Now what is virgin soil? It is a soil that has never been cultivated. An arable soil is the soil where crops are grown. The next is A horizon also known as alluvial horizon. It is known as alluvial horizon because alluvation takes place in this particular horizon only. Now what is alluvation? Alluvation means transport, means transport of elements. So we can also call it washing out zone or we can also call it a zone of maximum leaching. And if transportation is taking place, that means nutrients are being mobilized. So, this region, in this particular region, mobilization of nutrients also takes place. Now, this is the topmost mineral horizon. It contains organic matter. And if a layer contains organic matter, that means it imparts darker color. Therefore, a horizon is darker than the other horizons. The A horizon has three sub horizons named A1 horizon, E or A2 or AB or EB horizon. Starting with A1 horizon, it is the uppermost mineral soil horizon which is rich in organic matter. Next is E or A2 horizon. In this horizon, maximum elevation takes place of clay, iron, aluminium, oxides and a corresponding concentration of resistant minerals such as quartz in sand. Now the next is AB or EB horizon. Now this is the transition horizon between A or E and B. It is also known as A3 horizon but sometimes this horizon is absent. Moving on to B horizon, which is known as alluvial horizon. Now, what is alluviation? It is that particular horizon where the minerals are transported to. Okay, from A horizon, minerals are transported to B. So, if A was washing out and maximum leaching and mobilization of nutrients, then what will be B? Yes, it is washing in zone and maximum accumulation of materials are taking place at this place and if accumulation is taking place that means immobilization takes place of aluminium and iron oxides and silicate clays. It also have the deposition of calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate and other salts that are present in arid zones. Now, this horizon sometimes is also referred as subsoil. Subsoil B horizon. The organic matter content in this horizon is higher than that of E. But this layer cannot be cultivated by tillage operation. Now, the last one is C horizon. It is the unconsolidated material underlying the solum that is A and B horizon. It is the zone of least weathering. 
least weathering has taken place in this region and it has the accumulation of calcium magnesium carbonates and cementation and at times it has high bulk density so that's all for today about the soil profile i hope you like the video please like it definitely share it and never forget to subscribe my channel i'll again come up till that take care bye bye